Hey, third and seventh hour FST, Mrs. Landon here. I hope your week two is wrapping up nicely and you have a good start to week three. Uh, let's take a quick view of what you can expect for week three. Uh, you guys are only meeting uh, here, sorry, let me fix this, uh, for two days this week. So if we take a look at the calendar, it's Tuesday and Thursday. So on Tuesday, uh, you're going to learn section 7.2 called the differences theorem. And you actually uh, need a graphing calculator for part of this. So if you cannot get your hands on one, um, try to look online for a resource or on your smartphone, you can download one. Um, if you're still struggling with having a graphing calculator at your disposal to do this regression, uh, shoot me an email and I'll see how I can help you out. Um, this is called the differences theorem. It's actually pretty cool. It's something different and it's not too overly difficult. Um, so I think you might like it as far as math goes. On Thursday, then, we're going to have our first formative quiz. You're going to have some multiple choice review to start off with and then a blue puzzle piece uh, just to practice factoring and then sections 7, 1, and 7, 2. Uh, let's take a quick look at how this wrapped, uh, chapter wraps up and when it does wrap up. It's not for a while yet. Uh, so you guys are slotted for your test on Friday, May 8th uh, for Chapter 7. Uh, so one of the things to keep in mind for the tests, I did send out a progress report today, and I mentioned that your final assessments for the chapters are actually formative. Uh, because you have all these resources with you at home, like your notes and videos and all of your old homework, it has to be more of a formative assessment. Um, but don't take that too lightly. Just because it's formative and kind of goes in that homework category, it's still going to be worth uh, quite a bit of weight. So assume that this formative assessment for Chapter 7 is probably 20 to 25 percent of your learning for Chapter 7. So it is important to put the energy into that. Um, you, by the way, your Chapter 5 assessment project that you did did go formative also. Um, in terms of deadlines, let's talk about that uh, for homework. So if we look, for example, I'm just going to pop back to uh, your Tuesday. So remember, uh, if you're concerned about getting full credit for homework, for example, Tuesday's homework on the 14th to get full credit must be submitted no later than 9 a.m. on your next scheduled day, which is Thursday the 16th. Anything submitted after that can only earn up to half credit. Uh, in terms of, let's say you missed the time to get full credit and you still want to get half credit, you do have up until that test date. So again, I'm going to hop back over here. Your test isn't until May 8th. Don't put it off too long, though. I will take your homework up until May 8th for up to half credit. Once we hit this chapter test, I will accept no more homework. So also keep that in mind, too. Um, that is pretty much the plan for this week. Uh, please do continue, though, to reach out to me with questions. Um, I'm more than happy to set up a Zoom session really quick if you want to go over a problem. I can set it up. I can put the problem on the screen and get it right in front of you, and we can walk through it one-on-one. -on -one. I'm more than happy to do that and, and have already done that with some students. It's worked out quite nicely. Uh, have a great start to your week three, and continue up uh, doing the great work that you are.